Chemical Exposure Chemical exposure can occur in a number of different ways. Regardless of the route of exposure, a contaminant can cause damage at the point of contact, known as local toxicity, or, the contaminant can spread throughout the body via the bloodstream and cause damage to entire body systems, known as systemic toxicity. The strength of the chemical, and, the amount that enters the body determines the effects of exposure. There are four main routes of exposure to a contaminant. Inhalation Absorption Ingestion And, Injection In case of inhalation, chemicals are breathed in, or inhaled into the body. Inhalation is the primary route of exposure for many contaminants on most work sites, where hazardous chemicals are used. In case of absorption, chemicals are absorbed through the skin or mucous membranes, such as eyes. Some chemicals directly injure the skin or site of contact. Others will pass through the skin or mucous membrane and enter the bloodstream where they can be transported throughout the body. In case of ingestion, chemicals are swallowed through the mouth into the body. While it is unlikely that an employee will intentionally ingest a chemical used at the workplace, this type of exposure does happen, and it is usually the result of an employee performing routine activities, such as eating, drinking, smoking, or applying cosmetics with contaminated hands. In case of injection, chemicals enter the body via a puncture wound caused by a needle, or other sharp object. Chemical exposures are usually categorized as acute or chronic. In case of acute exposure, symptoms usually develop during or shortly after exposure to a sufficiently high concentration of a contaminant. In case of chronic exposure, symptoms usually develop over time after long-term exposures to low concentrations of a contaminant. The concentration needed to cause acute or chronic reactions vary from chemical to chemical, and even for a specific chemical, the symptoms of acute exposure may be very different from the symptoms of chronic exposure. Many hazardous chemicals affect specific organs and systems of the human body. The toxic effects associated with chemical exposure can be categorized into several different types. Let us review these briefly. Blood or cardiovascular toxicity results from chemicals acting directly on the cells of circulating blood, bone marrow, and the heart. It affects hemoglobin function and deprives the body tissues of oxygen. Signs of exposure include low blood oxygen levels and loss of consciousness. Examples of these chemicals include carbon monoxide and cyanides. Dermal and ocular toxicity results from direct contact of a contaminant with the skin or eyes. Signs of exposure can range from minor irritation to severe damage to surrounding tissues. Examples of these chemicals include organic solvents, acids, bases, and peroxides. Genetic toxicity results in damage to genetic information inside a cell, leading to mutations. Examples of these chemicals include chromium and arsenic. Hepatotoxicity results in damage to the liver, bile duct, and gallbladder. Signs of exposure include an enlarged liver or jaundice. Examples of these chemicals include carbon tetrachloride and nitrosamines.
Immunotoxicity results in damage to the immune system. Immunotoxicity can cause hypersensitivity of the immune system, resulting in allergies and autoimmune dysfunction. Immunodeficiency or uncontrolled growth of cells or antibodies, as is the case with leukemia and lymphoma. Examples of these chemicals include hydrazine, benzene, and cocaine. Neurotoxicity results in damage to the central nervous system, comprised of the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. Signs of exposure include behavioral changes and a decrease in motor functions. Examples of these chemicals include mercury and lead. Reproductive toxicity results in damage to either the male or female reproductive system. Reproductive toxicity can cause birth defects, spontaneous abortions, infertility, or incidents of cancer in children born to workers who were exposed to certain types of toxins. Examples of these chemicals include organic lead and mercury. Respiratory toxicity impacts the upper respiratory tract, which includes the nose, pharynx, larynx, and trachea, as well as the lower respiratory tract, which includes the lungs and bronchioles. Exposure to respiratory toxins can cause diseases like lung cancer, asthma, and emphysema, or milder signs of exposure such as a cough, shortness of breath, or tightness in the chest. Examples of these chemicals include silica and asbestos.